this poem's about words. I do take the job of being a poet very, very seriously. It's my job to promote discussion on words, get you all questioning shit, and then I leg it real quick, let you decide. The preachers and the teachers have the answers. This poem's about words. Three words that surround my everyday life are the words black, white, and brown. Now, I don't know how culturally blessed you all are and where you all come from, but a lot of us in October do Black History Month. Who's heard of Black History Month? Yes, bro, from Birmingham, me and you in it. That's it, the rest of the country needs to get involved. Um, I turned up at the school in Birmingham, I said, I'm getting paid to come and deliver Black History Month workshop. You know, Usain Bolt, all that, whatever. And this lad turned around to me at eight o'clock in the morning, he said, Dread Ocalian, you do know you're not black, innit? <laughs> This is eight o'clock in the morning. I put my speakers down. I said, "Do you want to fight?" <laughs> I didn't really say that. I just I got CRB and everything. <laughs> I said something similar. I said, "You're not white, are you?" And I couldn't quite figure it out. Eight o'clock in the morning. Is he kicking off with me or what? I said, "You're not white." He said, "I know." I said, "All right, mate. What colour am I then?" <laughs> Ten years old. He looked me up and down. He said, "Hmm." In the morning, my dad has coffee, no milk. And now I tell me he has milk, you look like a cappuccino. <laughs> I said, you look like the Milky Bar kid. <laughs> so I, I said, I'm not working with your group today, but you're obviously special. I'm going to ask your teacher to give you a little job. Prompted an idea of me. I want you to go around the school, you, Jamal, yes, Sarah, go around the school and find things that look the same colour as your skin and bring them to me and we'll write a poem. So I was teaching away, I looked out in the leaves outside, three of them. <laughs> they come up with their own version of discrimination, apartheid against leaves. <laughs> nah! <laughs> I wrote this poem because of it. I am whatever colour you see. I'm the dark suntan look that 94% of this festival sits out during summer for. I'm the shady Latina who's on the dance floor. I'm the colour of the exotic other. Olive from my dad, ebony from my mother. I'm chocolate, dark milk and white. I'm the bronze that flashes throughout the night. I'm the colour of rain-soaked rust. I'm the beige bloke that Maidstone don't trust. <laughs> I drove through. <laughs> that line works anywhere. <laughs> I'm the oak coloured chestnut that's roasted on open fires. The tub of fake suntan that one's ego so desires. I'm that caramel bar melting in the heat. Sugar toffee cinder, sugar clad and sweet. I'm tarnished copper. I'm unpolished brass. I'm the sandalwood sojourner that you just walked past. I'm the dark that's between the handsome and tall. I'm that subtle shade of a sandstone wall. I'm that single drop of cream in your Colombian coffee cup. I'm tan, I'm sable, I'm cinnamon, I'm a heat of roasted nut. I'm the colour of freshly dug mother earth. I'm mulatto, mixed up from birth. Cherokee, mahogany, a darker shade of pale. Nubian, autumn blossom, the colour of real ale. I am mocha, terracotta, <laughs> mustard seed and teak. I'm the tone of raw sienna, totally unique. I've got a golden glint running through my chain. Are you melanin overload running through my brain? I'm that toasted shade of hot almond flakes. I'm the cocoa powder your grandma shakes over cake. So every colourful morning, small world, please, let's get it right. If colour's what we see, then truly who is brown, black or white? Done.